So I'm here with Eamon Coxon today. Uh, he's farming here near Mitchellstown. Uh, you might give us a bit of a brief overview of the farm um, here, Eamon. Yeah, we're milking uh, 400 spring calving cows. Um, yeah, with my father Ned and my wife Michelle, and uh, we have labour employed as well, obviously. And um, it's a spring block calving system. So um, at the moment, we're just three weeks into breeding. Yeah, uh, we start the breeding on the 25th of April. So um, I know things are going okay. Grass is grass is in good shape at the moment. So um, cows, cows are looking very cows well. Cows are looking fine. Yeah, cows are okay. Yeah, body and, condition uh, is good. Yeah. We, um, like I said, we've just reached three weeks today, so we've eighty nine percent in bread. Very good. Um, so um, yeah, I'm happy enough for that. We'll um, we'll uh, hold off for until next Monday, and we'll get whatever's not bread seen to by the vet, and uh, yeah. carry on from there. Very good. So, and uh, I suppose people will be interested in cow type. What very high EBI? So you're, you're got over two hundred EBI. Yeah, the EBI for the herd now is two hundred and six. Um, a strong weighting towards fertility it probably goes back to a time when um there's a lot of these would have norwegian red blood in yeah. the back breeding back along you know, yeah we were part of norwegian red trial like the big ones 15 odd you know, years ago so yeah. um even the winter is a tough that probably stands yeah, to them a yeah, bit yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah we'd be producing 460 470 kilos of milk solids yeah. um kind of a middle of the road uh production yeah. and uh I, um, I just had a quick look at your EBI earlier on and maintenance for the size of the herd and the walking maintenance is, is something you're Yeah, we'd be conscious of, of maintenance yeah. all the time because yeah, we don't yeah. want a huge big cow because there's, you know, with that number, there's a, obviously yeah. there's a fair bit of walking. So the maintenance is around 18, isn't it? And uh, not massive milk kgs, I think it's about 60 and obviously good, yeah, good yeah. percentages then. Yeah, reasonably good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's and that's where we're trying. Want to try and keep it. At, like I said, I don't want a huge big cow because yeah. they need to be able to walk. And uh, yeah. I'd say the cows on average are probably five sixty, five seventy, and you know maybe a little bit less would do. But um, yeah. like I said, it's um, maintenance is something that I we keep an eye on. It is a pretty good balance. Yeah, you know. So, um, so as regards breeding replacements this year, then you're kind of you're yeah maintenance it's, and a little bit more. Maybe that's what you're. That's it. Like I mean, yeah. um, you know, we. we we had a good few heifer calves now this this spring just gone so um yeah. with with compliance issues and ground being coming scarce and environmental constraints um i think we need to pull back a little bit and just breed the heifers we need we were always in the habit of breeding extra heifers to sell yeah. and this that you know so yeah. i think yeah. we've we've come around to the way of thinking that we'll you know probably breed 100 heifers yeah and that'll give us you know enough to maintain the herd comfortably like you know so um and a bit of sex even went in yeah we use fifth i use 50 straws we've we've um 50 straws i use them on the maiden heifers mm. um the first week of breeding of the maiden heifers um basically as they came in we gave them six straws unless they were very fresh mm. i gave the very fresh ones um a conventional straw yeah they were being bred once a day we're eyeing once a day uh, mm. with the technician service and yeah. uh so um Sorry. yeah after that then we'll We'll keep tabs on the cows. We're we're a bit more selective this year on the cows as well as to what has been bred to dairy. Yeah. Um, so the, the, yeah, I see that there's a lot of um, a lot of beef yeah, AI gone in. So you're much yeah, more selective we, this year about yeah we we put we put strong. the cows in on an Excel yeah. sheet and and uh, basically had a cut off point in terms of EBI and in terms of yeah. kilos of milk solids produced last year and anything okay. below that is getting beef. So you use so EBI but, and the milk recording. So yeah, yeah, to, exactly. To yeah, just, yeah, we didn't we didn't uh, we weren't overly. Uh, picky on it is just a blunt yeah. enough instrument but it's it works yeah yeah so i yeah. um, put the remainder of the codes then into the soil advice and uh they get whatever the soil advice says and yeah, uh yeah, yeah. the um that's probably i don't know maybe 35 40 percent of the codes now getting just beef straw from from, from day from day one from day one you know yeah, so yeah. um yeah, so see there's there's limousine zag, a good lot of zag. There's a lot of zag, yeah. There's a few Char Belgian blues, a few charlies. Depends yeah. on the size of the cow. Bigger yeah. cows will get Belgian blue or charlie. Okay. Um, unless the cow is very small, she'll get she'll get zagged in, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. So you that's kind of your criteria, I suppose. The, the real mature cows are getting <coughs> the charlie. Or the yeah, blue. exactly. Yeah, the yeah, next yeah, down yeah, is yeah. getting the limousine. The next down is getting an Angus or exactly. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we'll we'll continue that. Um, yeah. Like I said, we're three weeks in. For, we'll breed. Anything that's to be bred to black and white will be bred to black and white for another ten days. Yeah, and after that, then we'll move to beef. Switch. Yeah, switch all together completely. Um, like do these do, do some of these cows? I know you said you did an Excel sheet to pick out the cows, but we said those bigger cows, the likes of her, her. Yeah, tall, like they're they're, they're at the, they're at the top end of, of what we you know what we'd like, and ideally, you know, 
you know, they're probably older cows now at this stage, but um, yeah, yeah, they're the ones that you'd you know you prefer to be breeding to beef, and you'd have no problem putting a, a Belgian Blue or yeah, yeah. a Charlie on, on any of them, you know. Yeah. Um, and does it does it come through in the selection, or do you make some decisions on the day? Some, well? Sometimes you make them on the day. Um, and I suppose people will be wondering why why the Charlie, why the Blue, you know, why the why the Hassel. Ah, uh, well, I I don't know. I think that. Uh, we're trying to maintain calf value, like you know, there's a lot of calves, yeah. so you know, it's it's it, it tends to it tends to um, it adds up to a nice few quid, and you know, you've a nice calf, a very saleable calf, yeah, yeah. Um, a calf that people want to buy. So no, no um, shortage of customers for those. No calves. shortage of customers, and no yeah. shortage of you know, you know, you, with the with the black and whites. Well, um, well, obviously you need there's a certain amount of them are going to be there. You know, yeah. if you have too many, it becomes a headache trying to find trying to find yeah, homes yeah. from. Yeah. So. Um, and as well as that, then at the you know spring time of the year is the time of the year when you know cash flow is a bit in tight. So mm. you know getting a check for for calves is, is always welcome. Like it's you welcome. know yeah. you know so you're gonna have to rear a calf and you might as well try and make it the best one you can. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, hold on to so, your calving difficulty. Obviously, you want to. Ah, yeah, you, you obviously yeah. yeah that goes without saying. You need to keep an eye on calving difficulty yeah. and you need to keep calf on on gestation length and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but um, we've um, uh, you know as 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 the season goes on, then we probably. We'll, we'll breed for AI for seven or eight weeks, and then we live off. I have two Hereford bulls and a couple of Angus bulls. Leave them off, and depending on how busy they are, we'll keep AI away as well with the bulls in. We'll basically yeah. use the bulls as a like vasectomized bulls almost, but but yeah, uh, yeah. unless uh, unless things are quiet, yeah, we'd let them do walk away themselves. So that know? I suppose that bull that bull power issue, like it's you know for yeah. healthy size or for any, it's it's hard to have. Yeah, yeah it is, it is, to, it is, and yeah. and like you know they're only wanted for a short time. Yeah. And then they're a nuisance for the rest of the year, so you don't want too many of them around if yeah. you can. But but you don't want to leave yourself short either. So we just find that, you know, if you keep eyeing away, it takes the pressure off the bulls. Yeah, and, yeah, and, uh, yeah. It it's um doesn't it means you haven't you haven't you know a whole heap of bulls to be looking at for the rest of the year. For you know. Yeah, yeah. So like yeah. I say, a certain amount of them are unnecessary, but uh, we try and keep keep numbers down with a with a herd this size anyway. Like you know, you'd need too many. Yeah, yeah. To, you know, if you if you weren't prepared to stay in you, for, will, for you, will you switch away from the the limousine, the blue, and the Charlie now, or will you, will you just um, I'd, shorter gestation? Yeah, but as as as, a, as time yeah. goes on, we, we switch over to Angus, like you know, Angus. to try and keep keep the keep yeah, the gestation yeah. that little bit shorter again. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, it, like that won't be till week seven or week eight, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So um, yeah. but good. other than that, um, yeah, other than that, it's just about uh, when when a certain time comes, you start to start to maybe lose a bit of nerve in terms of uh, am I missing cows when things go quiet it's very easy to spot the cows when when uh, when, when activity is, is up you know yeah, but um, yeah. Yeah. Things when, really when things quieten down. down you really need to you know and, and you get a bit tired of it as well maybe like in terms of tail painting and stuff you really mm -hmm. need to be disciplined in terms of keeping on top of it so leave out someone a bit more qualified than yourself exactly to, to yeah yeah, yeah, yeah the bulls will the bulls yeah. will, will, uh, will and tell the ultimate tale, like you know yeah yeah, yeah. But she's so no, I think like, it's a good tact to keep going when activity starts to drop on drop off Start using the the stock bulls as heat detectors, and then sure for the for the last couple of weeks, you're probably you're happy enough to rely on them. Then for, exactly, for yeah, 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 yeah. We'll we'll breed for twelve weeks in total, and and yeah. call a halt in at that, and try yeah, and be yeah. finished calving for the end of April. Yeah.